I got the Esselman sandblasted. This is the man right here to do the job. He'll do you a heck of a job sandblasting. Thank you. Thank you. We'll to take this dude home and start wiping it with Bondo. All right. Esselman is home. Few of my little welds and a couple of pin holes, and I'll be wiping it with body filler and finalizing that very soon. That's the progress today. All right, guys, here's the S one. Hard to tell anything about it, but it turned out really good. I got a few places it's like right here there's a weld here and here and here two or three places and there's a couple little small pinholes to weld up and there's a weld here and there gotta grind off and there's a little pinhole there that's just the way this thing is the way it was made it wasn't made really tough it was, but it's it's just what it is. And to make it right, you gotta do what you do, and then have it all blasted, and come back and weld in a few of the little pinholes, which aren't bad. But that is it. Now I'll make a another video once I get the body filler spread on it after I get these welds done, and it'll start looking good then. Okay guys, this is the Esselman for a couple coats of body filler. You can see the line it's even now versus this part right here that was lower before. Plus for this. to get a good view of it tomorrow will be a whole lot more done like a lot better video but that is the progress this side has all the weld wood here put one coat of all metal on it and on the dash where there's welds at it for today there it is about to get there sign don't do well for videos this is the point I've been waiting for to get it to here all these lines gaps even had to loosen up this strap here because this one is when it bolted, bolted to this one it's like lower and it, and it pulls that down it's about a sixteenth of an inch different from this one so I'm going to put some all metal underneath it I got to take this piece off here and just put a little thin skin so that when this strap right here bolts down it'll be flush with this Hood here. I've been picking and hammering at this to get it where it lines up straight. And I'm going to have to raise this up about right that. And that way when I next put skim of body filler I'll level that off. But I've been wiping both panels at once like this because this part here was never up to the level as this. Even though it was, there was a bevel on the edge, it was just never like fluid straight. And now it is. Can't tell it from the pictures, but and then also here's the little seam around this and my dash. Got a lot of dust and 
body filler dust down in there. But it looks really good. It's not finalized yet. There'll be a thin skim of this glazing putty goes across it as I get it all basically like this. There's like a little spot right there. It's got to be kind of grounded and wipe a little body filler there. And a little bit there. But the whole thing is coming along. This side is about 90% finished. Now right here I got to take this screw out and then block all this. I had to leave this in here until I get it. Hold it all together. But each one of those bolts will come out and I'll block in here then I'll block sand that part level it the same as I do all the way across here and it has to be bolted together with these bolts and I'm using stainless bolts in every one of these with a little small washer and that's it for right now the hood is ready to put a little damp wipe on. That's what it's looking like right now. Okay guys, this is the Esselman build. Get the hood done today. Things flush mounted over on this line here. None of these lines were ever neat. Like this piece here was lower than this one. It's just the way it was molded. I had to put a heavy uh, metal fill up under here and on here. Let me put a little thin skim of Bondo right there. part is not going to be really what you call perfect is when this gets bolted to to this area and these bolts here it's it'll be a little bit of a it's just no way to get around it to keep from building too much bondo on it and cracking it when you bolt it down but other than that it's it's gonna be real close if you notice this line all the way around. And the hood. The way it opens. Versus the way it originally did. It's much neater. Much, much neater. I know there's a lot of dust and whatever down in there. That's okay, it all gets swept out. Gets a little body filler in the that seed area and the floor and all that. So far. That is how it's looking. Get it out here in the sun. This is the headlight rings for the Esselman. On the back of here, this little stud hole in here. I had welded this as aluminum, welded it up in the front. Do away with the hole. I'm just going to put some bolts in from the back. Notice that headlight. What does that say? T3. These are vintage. T3 headlights going on it. I'll do a little video when I get those mounted and you'll see that. <laughs> 